You saw the first post, which was about four days ago. In four days, what I've been able to do, it's really simple. If I have this done in a week, this will be the most amazing build ever. And I built my own battery pack. So I've got 20 of these. These are 125 amp hours. They're uh, uh, just 25p cells that are five amp hours each. So that is the whole pack right there. I have to run the BMS um, and then wire them in series, but that's it. Uh, as you can see, they're small. The majority of them fit right here and down here and up. So I'm just gonna build a little shelf and contain them all to there. Uh, this motor's fantastic so far, as far as installing. Like I said, the only thing you're gonna need is um, to order a new sprocket and just make sure you get the right size. Most of the sprockets over here are 520. I don't know if in Europe they're 828, but that's what it comes with. Um, I welded these tabs here. However, you don't really need to. What you could do is the existing tabs just came out to about here and just were high. You could get a piece of metal bolted here, just drill a hole bolted here, and then drill a hole here and bolt these to where the um, where you need them to be placed. The bottom ones lined up exact, well, I lined up the bottom ones and that's just on the stock tab. So you could take a piece of metal, bolt it here and then just run it down to here and put a spacer over here and do the same thing over here. Um, it lines directly up with the rear uh, chain so that's going to be easy i haven't hooked up the um the gear shifter yet and so i'm kind of curious to see how that goes uh, i might have to buy an extender or i'm not sure but so far so good the clutch i was able to just take the stock clutch cable and hook it up the only thing that I had to do was, this was over here, it was too far, so all I did was unscrew this one and just have the one bolt, and you'll see, works just fine. And so there's my clutch. If I need to make any adjustments, obviously I can just turn it back, turn it forward, whatever I need to do, so it catches. But that looks like the full range of motion for the clutch. Uh, I didn't fill it up with oil yet, so I'm going to um, add the batteries. Once I add the batteries, I need my DC to DC converter. I'll just be able to use all of the stock lights and it'll be pre-done already for me, so a lot less that I'll have to do. The only thing that won't work on the gauges, obviously this won't work, but I'm thinking about putting the temperature sensor into the batteries so you can see where the batteries run. Um, the RPMs probably won't work, uh, but this will because it's hooked up directly to the tire. So it'll see how fast it's going. Then I just bolt the fairings up and it's done. So this is four days. This so far has been one of the easiest installations I've ever had to do. Um, I started this trying to find and build a bolt-on kit for a motorcycle, but it doesn't exist. I don't care what anyone tells you, it doesn't exist. But from what I'm finding, this one is the easiest one so far. And I mean, you guys have seen that I'm not <clears throat> just saying that. I've built this one, that one, got that. I've got this one that's gonna be done probably today or tomorrow. I just need to finish up putting, bolting the fairings in um, and that's totally done. Welded on the back subframe from a 2012 onto a 2002. So it just looks a lot better. So this bike used to be this bike, but this one I'm leaving totally stock. So this should get me a ton of range with a 20, with, um, 84 volts and 125 amp hours 
on a four kilowatt motor that's only pulling like 50 amps. Um, I should get some crazy distance out of this. So we'll see and uh, yeah, just keep following.